Oh, yeah. You say, you say you'll be all right come tomorrow, but tomorrow might not be here for you. Yeah, you. Anybody know what that song's about? Anybody know what they were singing about then? Huh? Come on, you Leonard Skinner fans. Do you know what the song is about? Ooh, that smell. Can't you smell? You know what that song's about? My brother, my older brother was a drug addict for probably 30 years, and he used to shoot up cocaine. And when he'd shoot up the cocaine, as soon as he shot it up in his veins, he mainlined it. He would taste and smell the cocaine. And that's what the song's about. That's what the song's about. The song's about mainlining cocaine, getting drunk and taking quaaludes and wrapping your tree car around an oak tree. That's what these guys sing about. They sing about a Saturday night special, 38 caliber pistol. Shooting people, drunk, fighting in the bar because, oh, uh, give me three steps, man. I didn't mean to cheat on, uh, cheat with your wife. Just give me a chance to get to the door. And the guy's going to beat the crap out of the guy because he's messing with his old lady in the bar. I mean, none of this music is godly. None of this music is upright and holy and truthful. It's just about sin. It's about lying, lusting, hating. And you guys love this stuff. And then you have the audacity to walk by and say, I'm a Christian. I'm born again. Filthy, disgusting lies. And Satan has deceived your mind. You need, to, you need this deception broken, man. You need the power of Jesus to break it off of your head. Out of your head, out of your mind, man. You need the power of Jesus to just... It's got to be removed. Do you come back again? You come back for a second? Do you come back for a second helping? See, yeah, you don't know. I knew all these music and all these albums. You didn't know that, did you? You come back for a second helping? Oh. I know. Hey, where's Ronnie Van Zant? Where's Ronnie Van Zant right now? He's burning in hell because he died in his sin. Wicked man. It, it, dude, it's pretty obvious I don't want your Jesus. No. Where, where do you think uh, all the people are who died in their sin since the beginning of time until now? The are they with Jesus? Hey, I think your family's the, the calling Lord you. Your people are calling share. you right the there, man. Yeah, that's not the Lord. The Lord is telling me to share. Hey, I got a garbage can right over here if you want it. There you go, right over there. The Lord is telling me to share. No, I don't want your... I, don't want your, uh, I appreciate it, but I don't want them. Every single song, every single album, every single I mean, come on. They name themselves Bad Company. Hello? Dude, Bad Company corrupts good morals. The Bible says have, says have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. It's as simple as, as it, but you know what the problem here is? The problem here is, is you think God doesn't understand or know what your heart and your mind and what you believe inside in here and in here he thinks well you think well oh, god just uh and, uh god's just uh he loves me and forgives me and you actually think that god's gonna fall for that putrid lie that you oh yeah i went to church oh yeah i prayed oh yeah i gave an offering oh, my dad's a baptist minister my uncle prayed for me, you know, my left pinky nail grew. Oh, come on, give me a break, man. You need to surrender your life to Jesus. Stop having sex with that girl. Stop having sex with that boy. Stop getting drunk. Stop smoking all that marijuana. Go out and get a job. Get something going in your life. Glorify God with your mortal body the way you were created to. Stop being a rock and roll loser. Rock and roll will damn your soul. Rock and roll will damn your soul. Why do you like that? Do you understand the parameter of what I'm telling you? Do you understand that? Yeah, that means you're going to go to burn in hell, man. Because you hate God. Here's the flashlight shining right in your face. What do you say? Oh, God, bro. Oh, God, bro. 
Come on, man, it's not 1978 anymore, okay? It's not 1978 anymore. There's only so many times you can listen to Sweet Home Alabama. Come on, man. It's time to grow up. It's time to grow up. All you're doing is living a rock and roll fantasy. Hello, hello. All you're doing is living a life of fantasy. And the reality is, is your conscience bears witness to what I'm telling you, that I am telling you the truth, and that's why you flip me off. That's why you cuss me out. That's why you go to your friend and say, that guy's creepy. <laughs> you don't understand that. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you the truth. Sir, you don't know what blasphemy is. That's when you speak against the things of God and the ways of God. You tattoo your body for the praise of men. You want to be recognized. You want to be different. You want to be loved. You want to be noticed. You're crying out because the insecurity that's within you. You don't even know who you are, where you're going. What's the meaning of life? What is the purpose? Everything you do is vanity. Chasing after the wind. Oh, you'll have fun tonight, though. Leonard Skinner, he'll play free bird. Oh, you'll shout and scream. Sweet home Alabama. Oh, that's, that's it. That's it. Now you feel it. Oh, but on the day of judgment, the degree of your joy here, the degree of your happiness, the degree of your lust here will be the degree you're burning in hell. Oh, I'm telling you, that degree is going to be severe for those who rebel against God and his love. Oh, you need, you know, I'm, I'm going to be your worst nightmare because now I just brought truth to you. I just brought light to you. I just brought uh, Christ to you, but you rejected it. Every time I come to your concert and you see me, every time I tell you the truth and you reject it, every time you receive a tri track and you throw it to the ground, every time you turn on that radio station and you hear a preacher tell you to repent and turn from your ungodly lifestyle, your ungodly habits, and you reject it, you turn up the furnace of, of hell. Hotter, hotter, ah! It's, it's gonna, you're going to be screaming in hell. Do you understand the degrees, the consequences of your lust and perversion, your hatred? You have hatred on your car. I'm trying to love you and tell you the truth about Jesus Christ. No, I can't. I can't preach with the Reese's peanut butter cup in my mouth, man. <laughs> I need that. You can do that. Hey, I love you, man. I love you. Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? That is the key. Oh, man, if you do, then you'll, you'll show up by your lifestyle walking. Preach all this shit, but I know the Bible inside and out. You do? Hey, let me tell and you And what, what does me, God wait, say? Hold on, hold on. You know him? Hey. I'm not knowing about hey, the Bible. Hey, a lot hey. of people know the Bible. I'm okay. talking about knowing the God of the Bible. Hey, 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 All I'm saying is you have no right preaching here because I guarantee you after every show, uh -huh. Leonard Skinner's probably like, man, God, thank you for doing what you've done for me so far. What is Leonard Skinner going to do for you tonight? I'm just saying, it's going to make me enjoy my life. No, in the presence of God, there's fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there's pleasures forevermore. You are going to walk into a den of demons, and there's all kinds of girls going to walk past you, and you're going to look at them because lust starts coming. Oh, yeah, those songs produce something. Songs are spiritual, people. The devil knows how to work music into your life. To manipulate, to manipulate your mind, to manipulate your actions, for you to compromise and justify your deeds. I'm telling you, Satan is a liar. He knows how to deceive and trick. He's a master at it. You don't think he's not going to use music? God created music. I just told you that, uh, that uh, Jesus created the electric guitar. He's the best musician there is in every instrument. But you go and you, you serve a man. You worship a man. Oh, sad. Worship Christ. Love him. Obey him. Is Jesus going to walk in there? Is Jesus going to watch bad company? Hey, hey. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. No, I want you to throw the ticket away. I want you to go home, man. Hey, I, I, I know him, the author of all things, who's going to make all things new. Oh, everything that man has perverted. Everything that man has twisted and destroyed, you can look around and see it all around. There's nothing beautiful, nothing perfect. No way, your sin is destroying your continents. Oh, yes, yeah, sin is destroying you as you lose your hair. Oh, sin is destroying.